I always talk to people and give an example about the needle in the haystack, that the needle represents truth and the hay represents lies. But what people don't realize, you know, um, when you are influenced by this world system, how you doing, sir? Have a good day. When you're influenced by this world system, um, it's, it's all about lies, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I should not have to tell you that. You know that. But here's the problem of you know that. And that's what people stay in the mindset. Well, I know uh, um, uh, the influence of this world system is lying. But to what extent you, to what extent that those that operate in understanding will question and see in detail to how uh, this world system is not only lying and of how much demise is happening to so, ma so many people throughout human history. Throughout human history, there has been loss of life, of tragic endings to not just one individual, but to civilizations concerning that they, uh, concerning civilizations that they followed a lie, you know what I'm saying? Most of the time that, but you know, lies come in uh, different ideals. Some, some are just blatant lies that's, you know, blatant lies that, you know, oh goodness gracious. <laughs> some are blatant lies, like, you know, uh, it's kind of like, uh, that this is a foot, you know what I'm saying? This is not a foot, this is a hand, you know? That is a blatant lie. How you doing? That's a blatant lie, you know what I'm saying? It's convincing that this is a hand, it's not a foot. Uh, but there's lies concerning false, the, the popular lie that, you know, Satan needs deception is called false ideas, things that are half-truths, you know what I'm saying? Those are the ones that uh, really get people in a put position people in deceit so many times when you falsify things though those are the main ideal baits uh, Satan put out there to get people to believe the blatant lies you know what I'm saying he has to create half truths like he did to Eve it was a half truth say you know uh, you know uh, he, he 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 she he deceived them with a half idea like you know uh you know if you if you eat from this tree you will uh gain knowledge you know you you will become as gods you know what i'm saying knowing good and evil you know what i'm saying yes you, yeah that is you will know a good and evil but this good and evil is about the idea that you determine what you think is good and you determine what you think is evil according to your own mind concerning what is the ideal of the carnal mind. The carnal mind is a mindset that we determine what's good from our viewpoint and what's evil from our point. That's why Isaiah 5 and 20 talks about them saying that turning evil into good and good into evil that Satan has deceived people of creating their own uh, like a Proverbs uh, first chapter and I think the 30 something you know what I'm saying it talks about that what makes a fool is about they believe their own devices and their own ways pretty much is what creates a fool you know and create a person for deception you know what I'm saying? And the thing is, the whole ideal of what I'm using uh, hay as the ideal of lies and the needle is supposed to be true. The thing is, Satan wants, it's all about convincing you that, you know, all these hays, you know, because it's substance. That's the thing. Oh, yeah. Because hay has substance. You know what I'm saying? you that he wants you to deem uh his ideal of uh of of that you want to believe that is somewhat true as because like hey hey is something of substance because 
you can touch it and it's something there something there you know what i'm saying he wants you to but and there's so much of it yeah there there's something there and there's so much of it is one of the most reasons why people will want to come to believe the, the ideas of his lies and of course it's something that has something to do with the desires of the lust of the flesh that most people live by the uh desires of the lust of the flesh you know what i'm saying it all these components come together in people's mindset and that's how they come to the place of wanting to believe this hot this lie concerning this uh hey and there's so much of it and there's so much of it i mean who i mean i mean to dig for that truth uh, you know what I'm saying? No, you don't want to dig for the truth because this substance makes sense. And and another reason why this substance be, gets believed more than anything is because it's about you. <laughs> oh, yes. It's about you, just like Eve. It's about Eve becoming as God. You know what I'm saying? It's about, it was the ideal, it was about her. You know what I'm saying? That he loved to utilize because you know who who do you care about more than anything you you know what i'm saying is what you know satan's deception is all about yes you're supposed to care about yourself but what care about your flesh or care about your spirit see how that you know when you come to divide the truth and that's what the needle is all about dividing the truth that's what the scripture says divide the truth to see uh, wait a minute what you mean good and evil there's already established there already an idea I mean I wish Eve told the serpent said wait a minute what you mean making things good and evil there's already a, a idea of good and evil it was already created by the creator what, what you talking about making something good and evil you know you wish he went about that direction but it's something but when you read it it says that be, it was more likely because Eve desired to want to eat. It was a desire more than what was logical, what made Eve make that bad decision. Her desire, she developed a desire within her heart. That's what followed through in her decision. That is unfortunately now followed through on a lot of people because guess what? Satan is all about getting you to desire hate desire lies you know what I'm saying and as much as you desire to lie and as much as how many lies are out there and easy to obtain you know what I'm saying and, and it's interesting that if you know putting this ideal percep perception that it's one thing needles are are uh, made of metal you know of a solid you know uh, substance you know but hay is not that solid it's somewhat solid it's somewhat it's solid to a point you know and the thing is and and and, and but th that's all satan needs it needs to be just somewhat but he will convince a person to continue to want to desire even though it's somewhat is what he's been through on, doing throughout human history to get people to believe lies and as much as you believe the lies you ain't trying to find a needle you're not trying to find the truth you don't think it's possible to obtain truth as what you know the lot because there's so much lies it's just too many lies you know if you're looking at a needle haystack needle i mean hay is very thick you know what i'm saying and boy is our world system thick with lies you know um it's very thick but guess what if a needle is in there you know what i'm saying the thing is it will be difficult within our own ability to find that needle see it will be let me say that again because this is the most important ideal of what i'm talking about this message it will be difficult for us concerning our own ability to find this needle but guess whose ability that we're going to need to find the needle, a.k.a. the truth, to find the answer to all things to make things right? You should, Jesus Christ, of course. Come on, the way, the truth, and the life, y'all. 
uh, Jesus Christ is supposed to help us uh, uh, find this needle. And he will, uh, you know, but first, but if, but it's going, but we have to listen to the word of God or we got to, uh, you know, take his yoke and learn of him and stop, you know, and stop the, uh, the, uh, hey, uh, learning from the hay, learning from the lies, you know what I'm saying? And stop accepting the lies, my God. I mean, it is what's so crazy, you know, that people are just so, you know, unfortunate because it's based upon the lust of the flesh. We open lies up because it's based upon, has something to do with you, you know what I'm saying? And that's what really people gravitate to lies so much because it has something to do with them and they will, you know, uh, act upon them, whether it's, you know, getting angry and frustrated at somebody or or now believing that you are less, something somewhat less of yourself because many people say that you this bad person, many people say you this negative person, you know, the blah, 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 uh, speak, call, call bad names on people and you believe the lie but you know because it's a lie really and spiritual is a lie because you are genesis 126 made in the image and the likeness of god if someone's saying that you this is who you are that's a lie according to that and but it, who believes that these days you know what i'm saying because lies make more sense and concerning people that are operating in darkness See, and that's the ideal of what you must understand, darkness. Darkness is now, watch this, if you was in darkness and I gave you a stick, many pieces of long hay sticks, give you hay sticks to you and say, this is a needle, this is a needle, this is a needle. And you're in darkness, you can't see the uh, stick, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it feels like a needle, it's kind of solid like a needle. You know, but guess what's going to trump you wanting to believe that this is a needle? Because that needle says something good about you. It's about you. It's like, oh, well, I'll, I'll say that this is a needle because it says something about me. You know, what? And you know the crazy thing about that? It says something about you. It could be something negative or positive. You know what I'm saying? It could be something prideful, like, oh, you all that and this, that, and that. Or you's like, oh, you just this person say you stupid you dumb you this see but you're now watch this if someone says something good about you is according to your pride like yeah i'm this yeah i'm that but if someone says something negative about you now you ready to want to go hurt that person because this person says something bad about you see what i'm saying you respond concerning whatever people say because one thing about lies gotta be true there man be a lie People are gonna respond to other people, you know what I'm saying? About whatever is said, you know, is what the sad situation about uh, the uh, lies that people want to believe. But the truth is, uh, is, 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 will be always be solid. You know what I'm saying? If you watch this, if you take this hay stick and you bend it and try it, you try it, see, and break, it breaks, bam, it broke. What happened? That was a lot. But one thing about, you know, a needle, a needle will bend. You will rarely see a broken, you know, needle, but you will bend the needle, you know what I'm saying? And the thing is, what we need to do is about trying or testing the information that is coming in your ears, trying and testing to see if it's true, you know what I'm saying, or not. But, you know, unfortunately, this world system uh, is trying to, because you desire it, more you're not gonna question it. you know what i'm saying i found out the only way to find the truth is to question question it keep questioning and guess what when you question you remove the haze you break all the haze and when you find the truth it's like oh it's the truth oh there it is and one thing about a hay and a needle comparison is the truth is more shiny the hay is somewhat shiny but a truth is shine brighter than hay yes it will yeah but that's the message. I hope you understand what I'm saying. Do not desire this hay to get you to stop finding the truth. Jesus said, ask and it shall be given unto you. Seeking ye shall find, knocking the doors will be open. Find the truth, find truth. Cause lies are easy to get and they're worthless. But truth is priceless.
So that's the message. God, we give you the glory. Him forever and ever in Jesus' name. Amen.